Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> so, for today's video, we are gonna go thrifting. Alone. Whenever I go thrifting, I'm with people, my sister, or like someone there with me. But today, we're taking a challenge and we're going alone. I never really do things alone. Well, like, it's not like I'm scared to do anything alone. Whenever I go somewhere, I always like bring my sister or something. But today, she's at school and everyone is busy, so I'm going alone. I'm probably gonna go to a few different locations, like a few different thrift stores. I'm just gonna like drive around, go to different cities, and see what we can find. I am obsessed with thrifting. I'm getting excited right now. I just love it. It's good for the environment, it's cheap, and you get so much new stuff for so cheap. Let's get thrifting, guys. Let's go. Sorry, I didn't film much in the store with one person. It's kind of hard to film, like myself. I guess you can say. But yeah, we did good. And now we're gonna go to another one. I think I spent, how much did I spend? I only spent like 20 bucks, $21 or something at this one. It's kind of funny, cause like when I was younger, I thought that when you go to a thrift store, it's because you don't have any money or like only like poor people go to thrift stores. Now I feel like things have changed and thrifting is such like a trend now and so many people do it no matter what their income is and I feel like it's super good for the environment and stuff. I feel like there's so many more people going thrift shopping now. It's kind of cool, like it's kind of like a gamble, you know? You never know what you're going to find and you can find some really cool stuff. It's just kind of fun. It's not like when you go shopping at the mall and you know that everything's like pretty much nice. But when you go thrift shopping, it's just kind of like, Ooh, what can we find? If you've never gone thrifting before, you should try it. All right, guys, so now is the best part of the video. Oh, I'm just gonna go uh, hide. Anyway, now's the best part of the video. So, you're gonna be seeing the stuff that I thrifted, and I think I thrifted some good stuff. I went to two places, same thrift store, different location. So, yeah, let's try it on. Okay, guys, so this is the first shirt that I got. Like, this is like a brand new sweater. I'm pretty sure the tag is from H&M, so it's from H&M, but like, actually so cute. It's perfect for fall. I've been needing more comfy, cozy, like, knit. Kind of turtleneck thingy? I don't really know how to describe it. Turtleneck thingy? I love the color, and it's just like super comfortable and cozy. I got this for $3.50. Let me repeat that. I got this for $3.50. And it looks brand new. How can you go wrong? Let's do a spin a roof, you guys. So great, so awesome, so fun. So friendly. All right, so this is the next sweater that I got. It's like exactly like the other one, maybe a little bit longer, but it's pretty much almost the same thing, except I don't think this one's from H&M. It's like from this other store I don't really never heard about. But look at how cute this color is. I mean, how can you go wrong? This is like the perfect shade of blue. Let me give you a tour. Super cozy, super comfy. The inside is just like knit. It's like, it literally looks brand new. Like no one ever wore it. Like I don't understand. It's just like I bought it from the mall. So cute. I don't know. It's just, I, don't know. I feel like an ocean right now. I can be the sky, the ocean, the rain, anything. I feel empowerment in this sweater. It's just so cute. And this one was $3.50. $3.50. Okay. Pretty much free. If it's under $5, it is free. So, the next thing I got is this really cute, long, big, comfy yellow t-shirt. It's like a really pale yellow. I think this one was $2.50. How can you go around? Free. You guys can't feel this material in person over camera, but it is so soft and comfy, and that is why I got it. It feels like I'm wearing a cloud right now. It's so soft and so comfy, I just I just couldn't resist it. It's oversized, really big, but I love that for me. I'm honestly just probably going to wear this around the house, or if I go out and I just don't care how I look, which is 99% of the time. So I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. It's just so comfy, I just can do anything in it. It's cute, and I feel like dandelion. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, I found some... Um, designer brand. No need to flex, but... This is like... Ow, my knee just like broke down. Okay, we're good. But I literally... This is just like so cute. It's just like a Nike plain t-shirt. And I think it was literally $2.50, okay? A two knee and two twenty-five cents. It's literally brand new condition. Can't even tell that I bought it at a thrift store. Everyone would be like, wow, I love your shirt. It must be so expensive. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it was. It's just perfect for even like working out or just chilling. 
Honestly, I feel like it's really a hit or miss to find brands like Nike or Adidas at thrift stores. So, gourd on this one. On to the next thing. Alright, so the next thing I got is this. And this is a bit out of my comfort zone. I don't really know what this is. It has a dragon on here, which is cute. And then it says dragon air vest. Air a breast. Dragon a breast. Okay. And then on the back, it says something I think about like raising breast cancer awareness, I think. I don't know. I just got it because I really like the colors of it. And I just, I don't know. When I saw this at the store, I literally took it off the rack and just stared at it for a good 15 plus minutes. And I'm like, is this cute or is this like super ugly? And I decided that it was cute. And I was pretty unsure of my decision when I was going to the cash. And then the girl took it in and she scanned it and she's like, wow, this is so cute. And I'm like, I love you. So here we are. Do you guys think it's super ugly? Cause you might. And that's okay. But I think it's really cute. It's just like so many colors in one. I don't know. I just really like it. It's just fun, you know, it's just funky. It's funky. There's the word. Funky. And you know, I can be a little funky, so. Let me know if you think it's ugly. I like it. So that's all that matters. So forth. Be yourself, guys. Don't let anyone tell you what to wear, how to dress. Dress with what you think is good on you and what you like to wear. And you know, really, you shouldn't care about what people think. You should care about what yourself thinks and you should follow your gut and your intuition and don't care what other people think. And that is how you should dress. Just stop the tears. All right, so this is the next thing I got. It's another designer brand yeah i don't know i didn't know how i felt about this one either it's another one of those that i took off the rack stared at it for 15 minutes and i'm like is this cute but i decided to just get it because it was like two dollars so i like how the neck is like high up kind of like a v slash circle it's like a mix of both i don't know i was gonna think of cropping this but it's not even long so i feel like i can it would be cute like tucked into like jeans or something really good condition fits good and how can you go wrong I just feel like it's different too I tucked into jeans or something i feel like this can be a look and be really cute yeah. All right. So then the next thing that I got is this shirt and it is very, very big. Let's just show you how big this is. Like it, it goes down to my knees almost. Okay. But what I do like about it is that it's like a dress. That means that I don't have to wear pants with it. And when I'm walking around my house, I don't wear pants. Okay. My mom is always gets mad at me. She's like, put some pants on. And I'm like, no, I want to free my legs and my buttocks. I don't know why. I just don't like to wear pants when I'm at home. I wear like shorts, the shortest they can get. I don't like my legs to be constricted at home. My legs want to run free. They want to do their own thing. So this allows me to do my own thing. It's just so long and I, I just love it. It's just so comfy. It just... It's just neat. Usually when you get a really big shirt, the neck is like so stretched out and big, but this neck is actually a regular neckline. It was like $2, so how can you go wrong? I just think it's really cute, big and comfy, so why not? So the next thing that I got is this shirt and it says corner and stone softball. Do I play softball? No. Do I play soccer? Yes. Did I still buy this shirt? Yes. Reason why is because two things. Big and comfy. Okay. I just feel like it's just comfortable, big, and it's comfy. So again, why not? This one was literally 99 cents, guys. As you can see, it goes well past my buttocks. And I like it. And I think it's cute. I just, I, the letters on it is kind of cute. And even though I don't play softball, I can pretend. <sighs> Anyway, uh. it's just... all right. So the next thing I got is actually a jean jacket, guys. This is rare. You can barely find any good denim at their stores. Speaking of denim, I've been thrifting so many times in my life now because I love it. And still to this day, I have not managed to find me a pair of jeans. I don't know if I'm just like a popular size. The good jeans just sell out all the time or I don't know what it is. But every time I go thrifting, no matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, I can never find jeans. They're either ugly, don't fit right, the wash is not right. Just one time, one of my friends was wearing these really nice pair of jeans and I'm like, oh my gosh, where did you get those? And she's like, I got them thrifting. And I'm like, how? I just don't have luck with jeans, but apparently I can find jean jackets because... But yeah, so this is like the second jean jacket that I found thrifting in my thrifting career. It was $9, so you can't really go wrong with that. You know, it just gives that like oversized look. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm really proud of this last find that I have to show you and it is these shorts. Why didn't I put them on? Okay, one second. So these are the shorts and you might be saying right now, oh my gosh, they're so long and ugly, but don't fear, the cropper is here. We are going to crop these shorts so they're like, maybe like that. I don't want them too short. Maybe like that's a good length. 
think these are my uneven. We're gonna crop these shorts together, okay? They're so comfy, guys. They're little boy shorts. Little boy's extra large or something like that. And I really like the print. They're super cute. So let's cut them and hope that we don't mess up. Okay, not gonna lie. I'm scared, but we can do this. I just don't want to mess these up because I would really like them. So let's do the first step. I don't know what the first step is. We're just gonna wing this. Get the shorts laid out. Step number one. Okay, align them. Step number two. Make sure they're straight. Step number four. Step number five, start cutting. It's better if we cut them longer than shorter right away because then we can like keep trimming them, if you know what I mean. So I'm, how do you make them even though? Sure. Do I go like this and then cut them both at once? <gasps> this is a good, I think that's good length. It's actually cutting, guys. <sighs> Concentration is key. Looking good. This is so straight. We did it. Let's try them on. Guys, honestly, this could literally be a headband. Does this look cute? It's actually kind of cute and it fits perfectly and I have how many? Just two? I have two of them. Okay, so this is the length and I think it's a good length. Now just hear me out. If you want them longer, you leave them like this. But here's my grand solution. Just roll them like that and voila. Guys, these are so cute. Like, so cute. Trick for you guys, if you want to find good shorts, honestly, go to the little boy section because they actually have some good stuff there. And like for sweatpants too. Got a little matching vibe going on here, actually. <coughs> Wait, hold on. Where's the other short cutoff? I can even wear it as like as a matching wristband. Workout set. Okay, guys. I honestly really enjoyed making this video. I love thrifting so much. It's just like gamble for a game sense. If you guys want to see more thrifting videos from me and maybe like and film a more in depth in store thrifting thing, you know what I mean? So let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below and leave any video requests also down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up for my matching tracksuit that I just made. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Oh, my God.